worst pain I ever felt in my life was having loved ones lost overnight. Brooklyn, what up? So I changed all my wrongs to rights. Now I'm a gangster. I am a hip hop gamer. Alright, so look. Logitech G, the G moment. We live and we here with my man Keith Shockley. God bless him. Now, on this show, this is where it gets truthful. And this is where it gets real. And this is the part where it matters, alright? So, welcome to the G moment. Yo, Keith, the question is this. What was a moment in your life where you feel like you was at your lowest? Where you feel like things could not get any worse? But you managed to find strength in that moment that allowed you to be successful today. Talk to him. Um, well, it, it's... I can say, I, I don't... Everybody's low point is different. My, you know, my low point was... I won't say it was a low point. I'm going to call it an awakening. Mm, <laughs> it was an, an awakening. I um, dropped, um, dropped out of college. Had a daughter, the whole crew, we we still DJing. It's like it ain't really paying no real bills. All of my other friends then got jobs like at IBM. Oh, what are you wow. doing with your life? Y'all still out there throwing parties. Y'all still out there trying to figure out what y'all want to do. But I think as a crew, we had a determination like we was gonna do something spectacular. You know what I'm saying? Cause you understand, this is early hip hop. We don't know how this how this thing is going. Cause that's a point where, like I said before, it's it, it's it's here today. It could have been here today and going out of business. Nobody wants to deal with. It. But that moment when I knew we working in the studio, and then I had a job, and that's in Nassau County. I had a county job. Oh, what? <laughs> never County. knew that. Like, not, this not, crazy. Not, not, not the jail part, but <laughs> not the jail part. But I work for a part of the facility in Nassau County. So right. that moment, we had we had recorded the first single, and and um, I'm still working my job. Now I'm working for the, the Department of Drug and Alcohol. Picture wow. that. Wow. All the, all the drugs I did, I'm working at Drug and Alcohol. <laughs> 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 so, so I'm I'm a messenger. Now, this is got this is like around '86. I'm gonna break it down. This is '86, so you know stuff. Wow. Stuff ain't really popping that well. Right. I'm at the I'm at the front lobby. The people that's working there have on the radio, and it's kind of low. Had on WBLS. Wow. Jeff Fox plays. Now I'm at the dock. Need to understand it. Says, yo, up next we got a song coming from Public Enemy. I was like, I'm working at the job, right? I'm like, what? Whoa. He plays my Uzi weighs a ton. Because at that time people couldn't understand at that time in life yeah. when we talking about Uzi's brother, you know, brothers was getting yeah. it on the block. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. They was, that, was the, that was the gun of choice in the 80s during the crack world, so, and for the drug dealers. So, but I was spin was it, my Uzi is the words, is coming out of what we're speaking. So, the bullets is like, yeah. now we dropping the jewels. The bullets is the lyrics. They're doing the, the lyrics. Yeah. And we're dropping the jewels, so my Uzi weighs a ton. Mm. All right, so I'm dropping jewels on you. And y'all know y'all understand. Yeah, I'm yeah, dropping yeah. knowledge, I'm gonna go, for the, for the youngest that don't understand Jews, yeah. I'm dropping knowledge on you. So Chuck wrote that. We did the music as the bomb squad. And I'm in the office. And when you hear that, and people get that moment. I'm, now they don't know if they get that moment anymore. But that was the time when rap was never played in prime time. Oh, this was wow. prime time. So I'm talking about I'm working in the office, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I remember this, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And rap, when you heard a rap song three o'clock in the afternoon on major radio, yo, it's over. That yo. was that was that moment that I said, "Oh, this is real." Yo, Keith, that was real. Oh, yo, I'm gonna tell you something real quick. <laughs> the way you explained it, 
I felt like I was there. Yeah. Like I, I felt, I visualized everything you said. Yes. I felt like I lived it through your words just now. That's, that's, that's your G that's, moment. That's the G moment, man. Yo, and that was like, wow. wait a minute. We got a, we got a future in this, man. We went on the road. I took a leave of absence. Went on the road. Did sound for the tour. Never, never worked for anybody else since '86. Yo. <laughs> what a G <laughs> moment. One love and God bless. That was the G moment, and I can't wait to hear yours. Keith Shockley represent. God bless y'all. We out. Peace. Peace.